Hello, my name is John Moore. I'm with Supervac Manufacturing Company out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Today we're here to talk about the Supervac SV3 vent saw. Um, we offer it in a couple different sizes. Uh, we have a 20 inch and a 16 inch. Uh, today what I'm showing you is our 16 inch model. What we'll start with is the power plant. Uh, we are using a Dolmar power head. It's a 78 cc uh, 5.7 horsepower unit. Um, some of the things that we do uh, with the power head to make a rescue vent saw. We add a HD filtration system for when running in the spoke. Um, another feature that we add is the momentary kill switch. So when it stores in the apparatus, it's always in the start position. Another thing that's nice for the fire department is we add the D-ring handle. So if you have your gloves, it makes it easy for starting. We are running a big power head so we do have the compression release on the side of the power unit that makes it for ease of starting. When starting the unit, you're going to pull your choke out. If you don't have the on-off switch because it's a momentary system, momentary kill switch system that we have, you're going to pull the, pull the handle. You'll hear it burp like it's going to start. You're going to push your choke back in, reset your compression release pull it again and you're going to fire the saw up. Um, some of the things that SuperVac has done, uh, we've added the scrunch tool, which removes from the saw, saw, which can make any of the adjustments you would need to make on the saw if you were up on the roof and not having to go back to the apparatus and look for tools. We also have the wraparound handle. So any adjustment I need to make on that saw, I can turn it 360 degrees and I've got that full wrap handle. Next item we're going to talk about on the SV3 is the full wrap depth guard. Um, you have your, your adjustment knob here, which sends it back eight inches in depth to where it covers the entire bar. You have two safety features here where you have your chain brake, which locks the blade in place, and then you have your full guard. This guard is also removable without any tools. Basically, we have our safety pin here. That pops out. You have your knob. It's only three pieces that you have to worry about. And there you go. So if you needed to make a deeper cut than just the 16 or 20 inch bar, or when it's eight inches, you have a 16 inch bar and a 20 inch bar that you can go with, or if you needed to use it for tree removal. We also offer another style depth guard, which is our Quicksilver series. Uh, this is an open depth gauge compared to the full wrap guard. Once again, you have three pieces that slides on locks down and you have the same deal. You have eight inches of your depth and this controls how far you're going to cut into the roof. Some people like this style guard over the full wrap guard. Uh, they feel that it's a little bit easier to clean um, uh, and it's a little bit lighter. We also offer come standard with your plastic D-ring handle. Some people like to upgrade with the Quicksilver Series Billet Aluminum Quicksilver Handle. Another option that we offer is your LED light. And that mounts on the side plate of the saw right here. Also what we're running is the chisel chain. Uh, it's a 404 gauge chain, so it's a little heavy, heavier chassis chain than your uh, standard 3.8 gauge chain. Uh, we have designed this for the fire rescue market. Uh, we run it with a dual raker gauge. What the dual raker gauge does is controls the depth of your cut and also protects the cutter. In between your raker and your cutter is your gullet. And we open that fairly wide where I can almost put my finger in between there to keep the chain running you know, extremely clean and not gumming up with the tar uh, when you're up on the roof making ventilation cuts. Some of the questions I do get asked about the um, 
the capability of the vent saw, the SV3 vent saw, um, is what kind of materials can we cut. This is perfect for going up on residential roofing, uh, shingled roofs, uh, light flashing, light metals, and materials such as that. For more information on the SV3 and SVC3 cutoff saw, please go to our website at www.supervac.com.